Hello everyone, welcome to a new type of video. I am doing a game review and I am doing gameplay of this game called Police Simulator. I do want to put a side note in, I have not quit GTA. I know it's been a minute since I have uploaded a GTA video to the channel. I will be getting back into the GTA stuff here pretty soon once we get closer to the Christmas DLC coming out. That's what I'm trying to wait for. Pretty much, uh, I've been testing the glitches, I will tell you this here, and the uh, glitches are still working. They give cars the frame glitch. All that still works, so we're all covered there. Yeah, okay, but other than that, let's dive right into this. Um, Police Simulator. It was a PC computer game, and the company that made this, uh, they made other games, which, other similar games, uh, which is Bus Simulator, uh, Construction Simulator, and Fighter Fire Simulator. This game was recently brought to uh, Xbox and PlayStation, and because guessing the fan base of it, of what people like of it, they're now bringing the Fighter Fighter Simulator to Xbox and PlayStation, which is available for pre-order now. You get 10% off through the Microsoft Store or uh, by ordering it for X. Box. I don't know about PlayStation though. 10% off uh, in the Microsoft Store pre-order, but it comes out December 6th. So, um, today is Thursday when I'm recording and uploading this video of uh, December 1st. So, literally next Tuesday when it comes out. So, if you don't pre-order by then, you won't get that 10% discount if you're on Xbox. So just keep that in mind. Now this game is digital only, so this is not a game that you are going to go to the store and be able to pick up a hard copy disc for those people that love your hard copy game still. This is just a disc. This is just digital. So, yeah. Um, now I will have to sit there and say um, this game could be a little bit better designed for console. Uh, as you play it, it does scream a lot of PC, and I'm not going to talk for the whole video, just let you all know. I'm just talking to give my spiel of the game, and then I'm going to be recording some gameplay uh, with this to go uh, with this. And I want to point some out some stuff in the beginning with, before, before we get into that. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, get off of this screen and dive right on into Police Simulator and you can kind of check it out for yourself. Um, as you see, this is my character that I have going on in the game, Officer Miller. Um, this is pretty much all his information as you see on screen. Uh, right now, we should see it on screen. But I want to go over to look at new player. I'm not going to create a new player, but I just want to show you, you know, um, I wish they gave us a little bit more uh, leeway with this because we don't get too much of an option as far as our character choice. We could choose if they're a male or a female, but we don't get to customize our avatar character. I understand we can't really touch the uniform because, you know, police, you know, you have to have a certain type of you know, uniform, but we can't change his name, the hair color, or I wish that they would uh, let us have a little bit more um, leeway with that, because for male, this is all your options, and then for female, You go to the female, these are all like your female options. So, not really much gameplay, but if you notice with each officer, it tells you if they're married, tells you their address. Now, these are not real addresses, obviously. And a, now, a lot of people do sit there and say this game is based off of the UK, but I don't really see it's based off of the UK. 
Now, I do want to point out this is a multiplayer game, but this ain't a multiplayer game where you and your friend could be sitting on the same console and play it uh, at your house or wherever you play at. This is more of where they have, they're on their own console and they own the game and they can, um, you can invite them. Now, some people have said this game is cross-play, but I don't really know for sure, so don't quote me. i still trying to find out, set in stone, uh, if this thing is for cross-play. So, if it is for cross-play, that means PC people can play with PlayStation and Xbox people. Uh, PC, means sorry, PlayStation people can play with Xbox and uh, PC people, you know what I mean, so on. You know. But, um... You can play this game by yourself, and you can play it uh, with a friend. And just a few minutes here, after I get done with this spiel here that I'm about to go into, I will turn up the game volume, and we're going to do a shift. Now, each shift, you get 100 points automatically. You start off with 100 points, um, and... As you play the shift, if you are a good officer and obey the laws and force the laws of the city, you go up in rank and you go up in points. But if you do things, uh, it can take away points and certain things could automatically end your shift right away. Like if you pull a gun out or a taser and you go and tase someone or you... Uh, shoot a gun at someone, uh, then you're automatically kind of like terminated um, where it ends your shift and you have to start a new shift. If, um, now, take a day off. It doesn't really, I don't really get that whole point if you see it down there in the bottom of the screen there, take the day off. To me, it's basically you're just skipping a, a list of shifts. But, they recommend you do at least four days worth of shifts first before you do take a day off. Off. Now, like I said, this is a multiplayer game, and I'll show you what I mean by that here. Multiplayer game is here is your options. And you can invite someone from your friends list. You can make your your game public so someone can join off of your profile oh, or they can go on this screen and they can use the join feature and it will join someone that is public so that is pretty unique but as far as do you can you play can someone on Xbox play this game with someone that's on PlayStation I don't really know I don't want to tell you yes or no now a lot of things are in this game will be locked when you first get it. Like all of this area will be pretty much locked. The only thing that's going to be unlocked is this because they want you to do a foot patrol uh, where you're just writing out parking tickets and stuff like that. And a lot of features of the game are going to be locked. Now I do want to tease this at you and I don't know if they're going to fix this. Um, but if you play the game with someone that has been playing the game for quite a while and they are up in rank and they have a lot of stuff unlocked, just by you playing with them, every single thing that happens during that shift uh, will give you extra XP and also it unlocks everything for you that they have unlocked. So every type of car that they have unlocked, it unlocks that for you. Every uh, type of utility belt item they have have that unlock for you like radar gun uh flashlight if they have that stuff you will be able to uh get those features just because you played with them uh, um, and you'll get to unlock a lot of achievements there's a total of 25 achievements that you can unlock on xbox by playing the game um or Xbox achievements. I don't know if uh, PlayStation has achievements or PC, but uh, I pretty much unlocked 20 of them. I only got five left to le unlock in the game, and then I pretty much I kind of beat the game. But I'm kind of high up in rank. Um, 
So yeah, it's a pretty neat game. But the only bad side is when you're partnering with someone with a shift, and I really don't like this, is what you do affects them, and what they do affects you. So let's say if you're being the good cop and you're doing everything right, let's say if they do something and they're and they're new to the game. Okay, let, let's just say they're new to the game, okay, and they do something wrong. Well, it deducts your points as well because y'all are on the same shift. So keep that in mind. So I recommend if y'all gonna partner with someone that is playing the game longer than you, do it where y'all stay together and they're following you around they're teaching you the game they teach you okay this is how you do this this is how you do that uh, don't go separate like you go this way i go that way type of deal um, uh, because easily that's where big mistakes can go i see a lot of people doing that so i just advise if you're going to partner with someone so you can unlock more features get a lot of extra xp from doing shifts uh, shifts, I will show you one here real quick. So let's say if I want this shift right here. Uh, this tells me all the information about the shift, what type of shift with shift if it is is um, if it's a car or a foot and it tells me the time of day. And then I can choose if I want to do a 60 minute shift, which is an hour long, uh, 90 minute. I can do all these different types of shifts. If uh, all the way down to a 15 minute shift. If so, 15 up to a 90 minute long shift. If so, you get kind of the point there. So it's a pretty neat, ideal concept. Yep. And then as you proceed, um, proceed, there's a different type of shift that you can unlock where you don't have no time where you can just play as long as you want do the shift as long as you want and you can end it at any time and I forget what they call that but you have to uh, be a certain rank you have to have pretty much almost everything unlocked in the game and, um, but yeah it's a pretty neat game now it does lag a little bit not much to where you always have to constantly restart the game and every now and then it might crash but not significant now the one thing i do really like to point out that i kind of don't like in the game is the time of day so some places you'll see like where it says no parking on this day between this time period and it'll be like it's daylight and it says the sign says from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. and on Wednesday you can't park there okay well in the game it's saying it's 2 in the morning or something and the sun is bright out like it's the middle of the day and you're like now you have to debate okay do I go by the time or do I go by the day and then just go ahead and write the ticket and have them towed you know, I mean, that's what you kind of have to kind of look at. But other than that, uh, that's all I have to pretty much say about the game. But this game is uh, $29.99 um, plus tax. And they do have a separate DLC, which is SUV. Now, if you're playing with someone that has the SUV, once you leave them and they don't... Uh, you know, play with them anymore, like doing their shift with them, you don't unlock the SUV. Only people that can unlock the SUV is the people that own the SUV vehicle. It's like a Tahoe Suburban type of uh, car, and you can allow to be arrested up to four people at a time, and also you can uh, get more calls and different type of calls that you couldn't get the people that... Uh, does not have the police SUV and that police SUV DLC is an extra two dollars and ninety nine cents plus tax if you would like to get that so that's my spiel of the game uh, I hope y'all enjoy my take on it and I will go ahead and get right into this and I'm gonna turn up the game volume and I'm gonna mute my mic and I'm just gonna record game audio so 
I'll record for a few minutes and I'll just end in the video um, recording. And uh, I will not be doing the outro. So once I'm done recording the video, so you'll see what I mean. So I'll talk to you later in the next video and peace out. This area has high criminal activity. Ready yourself to show some police presence. Copy that. There's an emergency. Urgent response required. Officer available? I'm on my way. I have an injured person requesting an ambulance. Can you describe what you saw? I was daydreaming and forgot to use a turn signal before turning. I'm sorry. All right, let me just check to see if you're under the influence of alcohol.
I'll take a sample to check if you've taken drugs before driving. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Yeah, but I feel dizzy. I need to see you your driver's license and registration, for further please. diagnosis. Can you walk to the ambulance yourself? Yeah, sure, officer. Sure, Doc, I'll try. You've committed a violation by driving under the influence of cannabis. You're being arrested. Please move on to the sidewalk. Please, don't do that! Hands in the air and let me frisk you. Put your hands up slowly, please. I'm going to search you. Tell me what you saw. This person didn't use their turn signal and caused the accident. Okay, let's just check if you're under the influence of alcohol. I'm just collecting a sample to see if you've used any drugs while driving. ID and vehicle insurance card, please. Here you go, officer. I have to issue you a ticket for driving with a broken windshield. That might cost up to $250. My lawyer will take care of it. I have to find you for having an expired license plate. It will cost you between $50 and $250. Oh, come on. That's so much money.
I have a car here that needs towing. Please send a tow truck to my current location. All right, here's your accident report. All right, thanks, officer. All right, you can go now. Drive safe. I have a vehicle here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? Tow truck will arrive at your location shortly, officer. I need backup to take a subject into custody. Understood. The closest available unit will be dispatched to your location. I've got a car here that needs towing. Can you send a record to my current location? Sure. It will be with you shortly. I've got a car here that needs towing. Can you send a wrecker to my current location? Sure. It will be with you shortly.
I pulled you over because your license plate is outdated. Ah, I totally forgot to get a new one. Thank you for reminding me. I'll take care of it. Show me your ID and car insurance, please. Sure, officer. Here you go. I have to fine you for not having valid insurance. Oh, come on! That's so much money! You're being charged and ticketed for between $50 and $250 for driving a car with an expired license plate. Really? That is so much money! Out of your car and move to the sidewalk, please. You're under arrest for having a fake ID. Please move to the sidewalk. No, don't. Please, officer. Pat down. I'm going to proceed with a frisk. Put your hands up slowly, please. I'm going to search you. I have a vehicle here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? I need backup to take a subject into custody. Shortly. Understood. We're sending the closest transport to your location. Hi, I'm here to take your suspect into custody.
pulled you over because you didn't use your turn signal when you were supposed to. I'm very sure that I used my turn signal. Show me your ID and car insurance, please. I have to fine you for failure to use a turn signal. It will cost you between $60 and $150. Really? That's so much money. You can leave now. Have a great day. I stopped you for failing to use your turn signal as required. You just want to make your quota. Show me your driver's license and, if available, proof of insurance, please. Yeah, sure, officer. You're being charged and ticketed for between $60 and $150 for failure to use a turn signal. Why does it cost so much? Everything's fine. You're good to go. Bye.
Can you send a tow truck to my current location? I have a vehicle here that needs towing. I stopped you because your license plate is expired. Ah, I totally forgot to get a new one. Thank you for reminding me. I'll take care of it. I'd like to see your ID and car insurance, please. Here you go, officer. I have to issue you a ticket because you don't have valid insurance. I don't have that much money. I have to fine you for having an expired license plate. It will cost you between $50 and $250. My lawyer will take care of it. It's fine. Have a nice day. 